Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be sublimating this really cute garden gift set that I found in the Target dollar spot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is a cute little apron with a couple or a pair of gloves, matching gloves. You can sublimate the gloves if you want, but I'm just going to be doing the apron. I originally picked this up thinking I would do an embroidery video with it, but I started looking at the content and it is 100% polyester. So I thought this would be absolutely perfect to use for sublimation. So I found this cute little design on Creative Fabrica. I'll link it in the description below. It originally said, welcome to my garden. And I just took out the word my and put a name in there. So you could do that if you wanted, or you could just put to my garden, or you could put mom or whatever you want. But I thought this would be a really cute either Easter gift basket for mom or grandma or whoever that gardens in your life, or even a Mother's Day gift. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna use my new Craft Pro heat press. I love this heat press so much. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. And then we're going to go ahead and sublimate this design. So I started by printing my image on my Sawgrass SG500 printer. You must use a sublimation printer with sublimation ink for this project to work. That's the number one question that I get all of the time. It has to be sublimation ink. I do highly recommend the Sawgrass SG500 as well as the SG1000. The SG1000 just prints a little bit bigger. I will have all the product shoes linked in the description below the video. My favorite feature of this Craft Pro heat press is this pull out drawer. This makes it so easy to line up your project, get everything ready to go, and not worry about your fingers coming near the heat of this top platen. Once you're ready, you just slide it back in and close the heat press. Setting the time and temperature is as simple as pressing set and an up and down arrow for both the temperature and the time. I like that that's so easy to do. They're not combined into one set of buttons. So we're ready to start prepping. We need to first put a piece of butcher paper over the bottom platen. Always a good practice when you're doing sublimation. You don't want any ink to get on your press that could transfer to another project. So the nice thing about this, as I showed you, is this pull out drawer. I really like this feature. It allows me to get everything set up, not worry about getting my hands underneath the um, heat. So I'm gonna put the apron on. And it's already got a crease right down the center, so I know where my center is. And I am just going to give this a quick little press. I'm going to put another piece of butcher paper on there. And I'm just going to give it another quick press just to get any moisture out of the apron, anything that might interfere with our press. While we're still waiting for this to heat up, I'm going to use my lint roller and make sure that there's no lint on this before I put my actual design on. Always make sure that you lint roll. If you don't lint roll, you could end up with little blue specks in your project. We don't want that to happen. All right, so we've got this all lint rolled. We are up to 374. I'm gonna let this get up to 385 to 400 degrees. We're gonna press it for 60 seconds. So we've got just a couple more degrees to go and I'll be right back. Okay, the heat press has reached 385. It's gonna keep climbing. I had set it on 400, but 385 is good enough. So we've got our design and when it printed on the Sawgrass printer, it automatically mirrored it. So I didn't have to do that. If you're using a printer that doesn't automatically mirror, you do wanna make sure that you're mirroring. And I'm going to put this face down on top of the apron. Now the apron has two pockets. So I'm gonna just center it right in the middle and see how that goes. You could put something on each pocket if you wanted. But I am just, let's see, I'm gonna kind of fold it, just pinch this corner just so that I can tell where the center is. Just pinch the crease. And that's just gonna help me line it up. And I'm just going to use a little bit of heat transfer tape and tape it down so that it doesn't move. Very important when you're sublimating that your photo or your picture or your print doesn't move and that can cause some ghosting. You could also use an adhesive spray if you wanted. I'm just going to tape it for now. And the ghosting usually happens when the press releases and it kind of jumps up while it's still hot. 
All right, so we're gonna put another piece of butcher paper over the top and we're gonna press this. Right now it's at 390 for 60 seconds. Again, you want a temperature of 385 to 400 degrees for polyester sublimation and usually about 60 seconds is perfect for polyester. So we're gonna let this count down and let's see what happens. Okay, we're ready. Let's open it up. We're gonna remove the butcher paper. If there is any sign of the design on your butcher paper, you wanna throw that away. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can just barely see it. That's ink and you don't wanna reuse that. That will go on your next project if you do. All right, we're gonna swiftly remove it. And that turned out so awesome. Can you see how nice that turned out? The black's super black. That's what I love about the sawgrass printer. Talk about easy. $5 from the do Target dollar spot and you've got a very lovely homemade gift for Mother's Day, for Easter, or just for your favorite gardener in your life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. I do have a link to all the products used in the description below the video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.